This is the Online Media Broker Video Podcast with your host, Jeffrey Williams, and his co-host, Boo, as they interview some of the top performing ad networks and top internet marketers discussing the most controversial topics in the internet marketing industry. Join them in their live hangout interview each week to become a better connected and more informed marketer. Get even more insight into the online advertising industry at onlinemediabroker.com and maximize your earnings today. So Rohit, I got you here and I just want to thank you for being on the show and just got some questions here for you and hopefully we can uh, we can glean a whole bunch of great knowledge from you. I know a, a huge publisher base and but you know they, nobody knows about this. I heard about this for the first time. About your videos. Nobody knows about this blog or something like that. Yeah. Exactly. At the max there are a, a few blogs. There's one or two blogs that are famous that everybody knows. But nobody knows about that video kind. And it's really, you know, most of these blogs are boring, right? Because the industry is like that. But the video thing, and it's very interesting. I just saw the videos you've made, you know, you put in a lot of energy. It's quite visible. Thank you. And they're worth sharing, really. Awesome. Thanks, man. So, uh, Rahit, um, how, how long did you start um, earning money online? I started actually four years ago. I started with a couple of blogs, like I decided to work with Google AdSense, but slowly I realized the potential of affiliate marketing as I grew, like in the last three years, you know, I used to see how my, how people are banking online. So I just got into Facebook apps, which was the first thing I got into. And one day I randomly ran one of the apps. I, you know, I just copied the app of somebody else and I was stunned when I got $2,000 in just one day. So How that much? thing got 2000 in one day. $2,000 in one day? I was, I was just a noob, you know. I, I had made 2000 a uh, lifetime till then, till then, and all of a sudden I got 2000 in one day. So I understood the potential of this industry. Wow. And then I dug deep into it. And then uh, by 2012, you know, uh, March of 2012, I, I had already done about 200K. So I, I was already going good in this industry. <laughs> wow. That's pretty wow. awesome. Um, so, uh, would, would you ever consider switching industries or businesses or is this where you're going to stick? No, no, no. After understanding the potential, I think nobody is going to switch from this industry. It's, you know, the largest ROI you can have in any industry is this. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, what's your, what's your earnings record in a single day? Uh, $25,000, two days continuously. $24,000 in two days. 25, yeah, no, no. $25,000 on, on two days continuously, both days, $25,000. Oh, so, you, you mean <laughs> you did back to back 25,000. Yeah. So the two cars you see on the Scorpio page were actually purchased in two days. <laughs> Wow, man. What, yeah. what's up with that? That's crazy. Um, can you just tell, uh, tell us a little bit of how, how you, wh what it was that you did to, to make that happen in two days? Uh, actually, uh, we were running, uh, it was, uh, the middle of February and of 2012 and we were running apps since January of 2012 and we were doing like constantly 2000, 3000 per day. And then we were struck with an idea that why shouldn't we multiply this? So we bought six different servers, dedicated servers, and we did not sleep constantly for like four days. We set up all the servers, we set up apps on all yeah. servers, and then ran them parallelly, all six. And boom, all were viral. We just distributed traffic, all of the apps went viral, and so <laughs> did the reviews. So that was how. Wow, these were Facebook apps? Yeah, these are Facebook apps. What what could you could you name one of them? Are you able to do that? Yeah, yeah, they were like uh, your collage, uh, photo friend matrix. You know, it used to make a wonderful collage of your friends. Oh, so, I, I don't, you might have gone through a few of them, like those. Yeah, so rate, yeah. Rate your friends' pictures, something like that. Those kind of apps. Wow. So you so you uh, got six servers up. And you ran them all at once? Yeah, all at once. All were big dedicated servers and all 
had around 2000 people online the whole day wow yeah so and so what were you doing were you just posting the 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 apps or something what what was it that that got it out there like that apps you know the niche of the apps was such that they got very viral like one person used to run it then like five of his friends used to run it then five of their friends used to run it because it was very interesting those apps those were new kind of apps new niches the which had never been run on facebook before hmm wow so we planned for like a week or something like that and then we ran them wow crazy so so when you do something viral like that it it spikes and it's really big but then it it does, it tapers off pretty quick too yeah exactly that is very true okay so you look for those kinds of patterns where you think you can go viral or or is that just kind of one of the things that you do it, it is one of the things that we do but it was pretty much what we did that time that time we just used to do this and uh, it is like hit and trial like you run like 10 apps one of them will go viral and that is which will make you a lot of money and rest will you can say just testing mhm stuff that's how it goes wow that's crazy so um what kind of uh what advice would you give to other beginners out there to all others i would like to say that you should always look for long term don't try for a short term revenue because short term will get you stuck on small things and will not like let you look into the bigger picture you might be able to earn for like a week or like two days or 10 days or what afterwards i know a lot of people you know who are into short term things black hat stuff but then they end up being nowhere after a year or so and then come to me like coaches about something so like that i have seen a lot of people failing in this industry also like 95% of the people in this industry fail because they look for short term things mm. they look for that viral kind of thing or they look for a way to just make a quick thousand or so yeah that is exactly the thing. viral things are never you know full time income you can never trust or you can never bank upon them you can never trust them so you you also have to have some permanent sources of income like some good campaigns or you must you know you, you must not put all eggs in one basket right. you must yeah so you must try different things and permanent things mm -hmm. and that is how it goes right yeah when i when i do uh coaching with people who are uh artists or um something like this back back a while ago before i got into this i would coach um artists on how to you know if they were a painter i would say okay you need to come up with a bread and butter painting like you got to be able to make like multiple paintings that you can sell at a at a at a inexpensive price that people want to buy but then your big ones you know you can sell those for like 3 4 500 $500 but no one's going not everyone's going to buy 3 4 500 $500 paintings people are going to buy 20 30 40 dollar paintings and you can you can make a living with the 20 30 40 dollar ones but you know you can't really make a living with the 100 dollar ones unless of course you're famous right exactly so you're saying kind of in the same terms look for a consistent something that you can you can do long term something that you know isn't going to burn out right away exactly i see that's really good advice um what uh what what networks do you think are the best right now and and why um i've been doing pretty good when it comes to you know single campaigns direct camp because there are two type of things one is locker lockers and one are direct campaigns for direct campaigns never blue max bounty peer fly these are the networks that i've been using and i've ha i've been having a pretty good experience with this for, uh, with these because you know they have a payment of like net uh, weekly payment all these networks have if you are a big publisher of course like you do a minimum of uh, 2000 a month then they'll shift you to weekly payment so and and they don't have any you know they have their affiliates of uh, affiliate managers available easily on skype every time if you have any issue just ping them and apart from them they have all the offers updated uh, you can also request for offers they'll get you plus uh, the they they keep sharing uh, quite a lot of cool tips like what are the best offers doing and everything so according to me these three networks are doing pretty good and for lockers 
सी पी ए ग्रिप सी पी ए लीड जीरो जीरो सेवन सी पी ए दीज आर द बेस्ट इन इन द इंडस्ट्री एट दिस मोमेंट एंड दीज डू प्रिटी गुड ई पी सीज ओके सो सो यूर सेन एन एड नेटवर्क दैट इज द ए एम्स आर इजी टू गेट अ होल्ड ऑफ That's yeah. that's important that they they pay out net seven or at least they'll work with you. They'll pivot to net seven if you are making um, good money with them. Yes. And you were also saying um, that they share with uh, with you what offers are highest converting at the time. Exactly. And they also send goodies at times, you know, it looks good, like small mementos or tokens, something like that, some gifts. Oh, like i something like a reward system or something yeah 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 if you do go- really well you know they send you like scorpio media has sent me an iphone once so and cpl leader sent me a trophy and t-shirts and all that stuff so it looks good you know you keep uh, boosting your the morale of your publishers mhm so you the publisher also naturally likes to work with the network okay And you said something at the beginning. You said there's two different kinds. There's local, and then there's data. Locker, 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 locker. Sorry, yeah, locker, like content yeah. locker and file locker. Content locker, yeah, content locker, file locker. And the other thing is, you know, the networks. A few networks have uh, work with the content lockers, and few networks work with direct offers. Hmm. I see. I see. Okay. And so you're saying it's good to work to diversify and work with both of those kinds. because some networks are specialized for content lockers and some networks are specialized for direct offers i see okay yeah, because the content locker offer the content lockers networks have automatically optimized the offers which perform best on content lockers so they do not have much of a direct uh, offers right so that is how they work nice okay yeah so you're saying that it's 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 specifically along those types of technologies really a direct yeah. offer or a content locking that's, yes that's good I'd like to have that information out there for beginners that are listening because like i said there's people that are paying attention to the videos and and they're going jeff how do i start doing this online <laughs> so it's yeah. good it's good this is good information now um uh what what um w- would you recommend uh joint ventures I've I've heard yeah. some I've heard some horror stories though. Yeah, in the beginning, you know, I used to do a lot of JVs because uh you do not have all the resources. Like you have the campaigns, you do not have the traffic or you have the traffic, you do not have the campaigns, you don't have the niches. So you need JVs, but there's a lot of trust issues. Yeah. Uh, even I have got scammed many times like they run away with the money sometimes or you know you you just throw traffic at their website and then they go away it happens so you have to you know build trust and uh, it is necessary in the uh, in the beginning phase of an affiliate you know jvs are very necessary because uh, no one has you know sometimes there is a funding issue sometimes you do not have the entire things you know but you you must be cautious like you must you know see the trustworthiness of the person and only then go ahead like i have learned a lesson you know from my experiences that i go on a jv with people you know whom i have met sometime in my life or like who have a good credibility on facebook groups so i just uh, research a little bit about the person before going ahead for a jv right now mm-hmm. earlier it used to be just at random so that is why you know I face uh, sometimes, you know, there were some issues. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so JVs are are good to to help you kind of learn, but but there's the big uh, cost of of trust. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you were saying that you you've uh, you've been in them before. You've been in bad ones and good ones. Yes, I've also been in trouble with networks. and i have also been in trouble with jvs but that was in the starting phase now i have learned everything mm. from my mistakes and i would suggest you know people to be a little bit cautious in the beginning phase because they tend to get excited like you see some campaign you say oh let's do jv and all that and then they'll run away with the money so it it does happen yeah there's a guy that i'm talking with now who um 
he lost like eighty thousand dollars with his joint venture. The guy kind of took off with the with the with the ad money or something like this. I I don't know all the full details, but um, you know, he, even I lost thirty thousand dollars from a network because of some misunderstanding. It does happen. Really, wow. Yeah, that is the point when you know James Wallace from Scorpio. He motivated me because I, at that time I was like. Uh, I didn't want to be in this industry anymore because I had lost everything I had put in, and I I had to take loan also because uh, it was a very bad situation for me. But then he motivated me so much that within the next twenty days I had made hundred k on his network. Oh wow! Yeah, so that thirty k loss, you know, did not do much harm to me because in the next twenty days I was doing pretty well. So is that pretty common to have the uh, the owner of a, of an ad network um, come come directly to you and, and 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 motivate you like that? Is is that something that you found pretty common or no? It's not at all common. James is in fact the only uh, I'd say the he's the best uh, mentor or you can say the best ad owner ad network owner I've ever met, and he's the coolest one. You know he. he Sometimes you know what happened when we were running campaigns. His network used to go down for like an hour or something in the beginning phase. Uh, his server used to go down, so that means a loss on us because the leads are not being calculated, right? So he used to credit those leads from his own pocket. Like he used to help us in every possible way, and he also went out of the way and he made daily payments to us just to motivate us and let the cash flow coming in. So you know he was helping. He helps the publishers in every way he can. Wow, that's a big deal. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Otherwise, you know, I I owe a lot of lot to him. <laughs> and it's well, seriously. Cool. Yeah, that's really great. That's uh that that doesn't sound very common even in like a working at like a Pizza Hut or something. <laughs> working at any job where you get the the big guy coming down and 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 really help and motivate you. That's a big deal. Um, so, uh, what would you like to see, um, from the network that you're currently working with is, I mean, uh, you're working with multiple networks, but are, is there anything out there that maybe these networks could do to improve or something that you would like to start seeing from them? Um, uh, there, there is one issue, you know, that these networks, they at times, you know, uh, on account of, uh, say, bad lead i mean they don't give proper accountation for why some of the leads are not being credited or why do they ban your account sometimes they'll say that this uh, your these leads have not been you know uh, valued properly or they do not bring proper value to the advertiser but they do not give a proper because we have put our hard work into getting leads for the advertiser yeah. we have put all our efforts all our money and then at the end of the day these networks you know some of the networks they say that the advertiser could not you know use utilize those leads hmm. so that issue should not come to us you know that money should not be uh, broken on our on our head that it is because of you that the leads are bad or something like that so you're saying that that's that's across all the networks that you've worked with that they do that they they don't uh they don't really back you up they don't support you as a publisher like you'd like them to some of the networks do that on certain offers and sometimes you know they remove the offers when we are running the offers and they email you later on so we tend to tend to lose up money for a day like we are running the campaigns we are spending on advertisements and all of a sudden you know they'll stop the campaign from the back end and email you one day later that it, the campaign is no more so such kind of stuff you know oh, they see. So you're you're running you're running advertisements on a campaign that they've shut down, and so it's not helping you. You're actually spending money instead of making money. Yeah, that's true. That this kind of stuff happens very rarely, but it does happen. And you like ten percent or twenty percent of the time, such stuff does happen. Wow, and and it would just be nice if they had the courtesy to tell you <laughs> instead of yeah. just let you find out. Exactly, and some and like Saturday Sunday, they do not work. So Saturday, Sunday, if some offer gets down on Saturday, you will be uh, told on Monday. So two days, you're making nothing. If you do not check your panel, if you do not check uh, 
carefully you know you'll you'll be just be simply be wasting your money for two days yeah so how do you so you have to you you have to constantly monitor to see if uh something like that changes yes that is one thing that needs to be changed and then um so with the ad networks that you're working with now um have you brought this up to their attention have you told them that it would that they should do that or what yeah even they know this thing but they say that at times they can't help it they 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 say that they try to you know minimize this as much as they can but it does happen like 10 20% of the times it does happen yeah that's a still pretty good amount i mean to me that that seems like a like a necessary job uh uh requirement that they should be handling because they're 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 brokering offers with you you know yes so. and they should also keep you know one thing that nobody does is that that hardly anyone does is that saturday sunday we have nobody to talk to like we have to ask why some offer is not working or something like that so nobody is available at the time to get an approval on some offer nobody is there so those two days are completely you know at least there should be some one affiliate manager or something that they should keep for 24 day, uh, for all 7 days yeah yeah absolutely yeah i that that seems i mean cuz you know being online internet marketing it's 24/7 so you know you're working with people all over the place i mean you and i we're we're 12 hours apart so um and weekends are the days when the maximum leads happen yeah so, more people are online right yeah so those days you know you need to contact your affiliate manager but nobody is there oh that's horrible yeah yeah i i I've, i've seen that happen before with friends and i've been in that situation too where it's you know there's no one responding <laughs> and you're just mm-hmm. like well what do i do at this point but uh yeah it's part of the industry which is something i i hope to to change hopefully with more podcasts like this uh you yeah. know we we can get that voice where maybe one of these ad networks will uh will pick up on issues like that and 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 they can promote that in one sense and people who know that that's important will will gravitate to that kind of uh uh workmanship you know that type of you know yeah. and 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 maybe it'll it'll change from there um so Ho- uh go ahead i said hopefully yes yeah that would be great So um which network failed you the most and uh wh- why why is that Um CPA lead was one network which was which is very good at this time but 3 years ago you know there were some scammers in that network the owner was also totally a big fraud and he scammed me around $30,000 mm. on the pretext of you know saying that I was doing something out of which i made 600 dollars which were illegal i mean something he said was black hat and you should not be doing for out for which you made 600 dollars and because of that he banned 30000 dollars that i had owned and he sold his network later on and the new owner is nice and he i kept on you know he kept on trying to motivate me that uh, the last owner ran away with the money or something but i don't know what's wrong with the network ah oh, wow Jeez. And so so he claimed that you uh were were doing something wrong and and he, and he weren't. Out he claimed that I had made $600 out of something black hat. And he said that uh your entire earning will be restricted because of that. And my only mistake was that I did not take money on a weekly basis. I thought that I'll take it at the end of the month, you know. I didn't care at that time. Oh. So if I would taken the payment weekly you know i could have got most of it so this is one thing i would suggest all affiliates you know to take the payment as early as possible for the network for new new networks or networks which are which seem shady or something like that yeah 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 i see yeah. that a lot wow that's really bad so you were just let you were let, you were being you were being nice by letting him hang on to the money uh yeah and, and then he com- and then he took advantage of that exactly wow Jeez. and and it's not just me you know he, they did the same thing with like around 30 or 40 publishers that i know mm. and uh, all of the publishers you know they tried to defame uh, the network so much on the forums and everywhere that they even had to change the name 
of the network wow yeah yeah jeez so do you think uh do you think that being um active on a forum is important as a publisher yeah it helps a lot because being in a community you learn a lot of things any news that comes up it's there with you in a jiffy and you you have any questions or anything you can put put it up there you can you can be assured to get some answers for sure forums are a great help you know what is i said forums are a great help oh oh i thought you i thought you named a forum do you recommend any specific forums yeah. that you, that you like warrior forum warrior forum is uh, is one and black hat forum and there are many forums like that which have a very good user base and uh, they're ready to support you ppv guru is one net one forum which is a private forum but it's a really good forum nice that's good yeah because i know beginners are going to need to go on there i really like the journey sections where people talk about how they went from you know an idea to uh you know making making money monthly yes. uh, good money yeah um so would you would you accept uh um like coaching publishers if they if they wanted to reach out to you for advice would you be interested in in people reaching out to you and if so did you you can you can give like your twitter handle or skype handle or or you know an email address or something uh, i have already done that in the past i have coached like around 20 people and uh, also i i also have a product uh, which is a coaching plus uh, an apps platform so that i've been monetize uh, that i've been selling to people and coaching them how to use it since the last you know 6 or 7 months mm. and people can reach me out at uh, my email id uh, rohit@ideaclan.biz and how do you how do you spell it uh, rohit r o h i t at the rate idea clan i d e a c l a n dot b i z awesome and i'll put i'll put that up on the description or in the comment section in the in the podcast or video so people can click on that link as well um and they, they can they can go that's your email address right and then they okay. can also where can they find your uh uh coaching product uh right now i do not do that at the moment because i am very busy with my new venture that i am working on so i've stopped my coaching activities for the moment oh okay what about yeah. did you say that there was something that was um what was it it was for uh coaching on apps yeah it was for coaching on about facebook apps uh huh and how to monetize them i even had a a, a apps platform from which you just needed to you know just uh, run it as such you don't need to know coding to make your apps so i made made an uh, platform which you could use but right now i'm not you know i've stopped uh, selling that because it's a lot of headache you know actually managing um, i had sold 50 copies and i had realized that i couldn't get time for my own campaigns because all of the time you know i was answering to the queries of the people and helping them set up their platforms so i plan to do this later on with a more you know much more simplified forum and everything so that i do not have to you know put uh, keep, keep on uh, putting all my time into this yeah yeah well if you need any help with that i'd love to uh, work on that with you i've done um i've done my own uh uh like uh what it, why it was e learning i'm i'm I understand how e-learning works and I've, I've gotten into that myself. So if you need any help in the future, let me know. But, um, uh, when that comes out, uh, also feel free to contact me. I'd like to be able to promote that on the, uh, on the YouTube channel and whatnot as well. Um, okay. Cause I think people would really like that. So yeah, whenever you're ready, you got a place to promote that as well. Is there anything else you wanted to, to share that you, you may have going on that you want to let people know about? Uh, right now, I'm working on a startup, which is a cashback website, and I suggest people to, you know, in, initially make money out of internet marketing and put put it into some big 
uh, startup or something like that so that your future is you know certain and like like jeffrey has done it he has sold his company or whatever in the past you could also make a big product sell it and then enjoy your life yeah yeah nice um what's your schedule look like then like your daily schedule as a publisher when do you when do you wake up and how many hours do you work a day is it is it consistent is it inconsistent it's totally inconsistent inco- <laughs> <laughs> yeah and mine too <laughs> yeah because you, you don't die, you're not working under anyone right yeah so uh, mostly uh, saturday sundays are kind of relaxed days and uh, the remaining days i work for like about 12 to 18 hours wow and, and that's uh, that also includes you know uh, time with the fr- with my friends and everything yeah and i have an office where i go and uh, uh, you know i'm i'm working on a startup as i said which is a cashback website called passaloot.com so i'm working on that website with a uh, couple of more partners and uh, uh, it's i'm planning to make it a huge huge thing you know all that money that i have made so far i'm going to put into it and make it a huge startup so and my schedule is like uh, apart from that is that uh, in the morning around 12 am i wake up and then i am in my office till 7 and thereafter i go to gym for a couple of hours after that i have my dinner and then again i'm on my laptop uh, running sitting and doing all the campaigns till around 5 or 6 in the morning and then the same schedule repeats every day wow yeah so it is it, it's it's consistent but it's also uh not consistent by the kind of work yeah. that needs to get done when it needs to get done yeah that's that's pretty much because i do not know what kind of stuff i'm going to do the next day one big thing is yeah every day i'm doing something new yeah well, that's what's fun about it too i mean obviously you work 12 to 18 hours a day because you enjoy what you do yeah exactly yeah it's a lot of fun it's a puzzle yes yeah <laughs> when i wake up in the morning i don't know what i'm going to do this day so that is you know kind of fun like so um yeah. I've got a couple more just two more questions for you and I think that'll wrap it up. Um one is uh if there's other, you know, if there's other networks or, you know, um maybe some AMs that are listening, uh would you be willing uh to to or would it be all right if they reached out to you and if so, uh um do you have like uh, anything you want to say to them or anything like this or would you want a network to reach out to you? uh um, mostly i reach out to the uh, the networks are easily reachable i i have never faced any issue like i've not been able to reach out to any any network apart from the timings like they respond like late or something like that but okay. i i am able to get in touch with them okay cool yeah, yeah i just want to make sure that there's uh, you know connecting there cuz i'm big on on connecting people to the right sources if they have that opportunity so Uh is there any final message um to uh, to all the publishers out there you want to share with them? Uh go ahead and watch all videos of Jeffrey and you'll get <laughs> a lot of uh you know encouragement and a lot of tips for whatever he shares plus focus long term. Don't fo- focus on short term things because in internet marketing there are a lot of things that shine like gold but then that gold goes off after 2 days and then you're sitting idle the rest of your life or changing your stream so i'll just suggest you to focus on long term that this is one thing that i have learned because in my initial days i was running after the gold and uh, and then i uh, realized later that it's not going to take me long yeah that's yeah, good so that's I, really good advice yeah Don't go after the don't don't go after the big shiny things cuz they could burn yeah. out right away. Go long term. Be long term minded. That's a big deal. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Rohit, I really uh really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. And uh, I know it's like, you know, 3, it's almost 4 a.m. where you are right now. So, uh I appreciate you uh doing that. 
And, um, I wish you the best of luck too, with your, uh, with your startup and, um, with your campaigns that you're running and hopefully, uh, in the future, when you, when you start up any other kind of coaching or, or, uh, teaching programs again, and, um, I'd love to have you back on the show, um, for the future. If you want to talk about maybe some more specific issues about, uh, something going on in the industry, whether it's good or bad, but, uh, I really appreciate your, uh, your, your interview. We got to know, we got to know a lot about you and, um, your success and some of your ups and downs and you've been really, really helpful. I think really encouraging to the community as well. So thank uh, you. It's nice talking to you and I'll get you in touch with some of the good publishers and a couple of, uh, ad networks owners as well. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, man. I'll, I'll see you around. And for those of you who are listening, just want to thank you so much for, uh, all the support that you give us and the feedback And if you could, please give us a thumbs up and stars if you're listening to it on a podcast. Really appreciate that. It helps out so much. If you haven't been to our website, that's onlinemediabroker.com. Go check it out. There's a lot of great videos there. And, of course, we're always on YouTube. You can go ahead and search us, onlinemediabroker.com as well. So, once again, thank you so much for listening. Really appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the Online Media Broker Video Podcast with your host, Jeffrey Williams, and his co-host, Boo, discussing the most controversial topics in the internet marketing industry. Join them in their live hangout interview each week to become a better connected and more informed marketer. Get even more insight into the online advertising industry at onlinemediabroker.com and maximize your earnings today. Thanks for listening.